Hi, I'm James West. This is Midas Letter Money coming to you live from the Market One Media Interview Zone at the Canadian Investment Conference in Vancouver, British Columbia. My guest today is Martin Buren. He is the CFO of Tinkering Studios Limited, which trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol TTD. Martin, thanks for joining us today. Thanks very much, James. Martin, let's talk a bit about 3D printers, which is what the business that Tinkering is in. How do you see your market developing in the near term in the next 12 months, 24 months, 36 months? Yeah, thanks uh, Thanks very much. So 3D printing has been around for 25 years. Started in an industrial uh, setting. It's a two to three billion dollar industry. Amongst that, we're at the what we call the consumer or the prosumer end, so the excessively priced end. And that's only 10% of the overall market. Uh, it's only been going for about four or five years, but the, the fun part for investors is that it's growing at 60 to 100 um, percent. High growth end of the market, we're a new entrant into it. We were only a, we're only a two-year-old company and uh, we're really hitting our stride to hopefully capture a decent mm -hmm. chunk of that consumer portion. Sure, okay, so can you talk about some of the big names on U.S. listed boards? Yeah, so the two biggest ones out there are uh, Stratasys, uh, SSYS, and uh, 3D Systems Corp which is uh, DDD uh, in, the, in the U.S. market. They're uh, companies with um, five to seven billion dollar market caps. Uh, they've been market darlings since, uh, through 2012, 2013. Um, they, uh, they really had a substantial correction in the first quarter of 2014. It's really a valuation issue. It was a, you know, a bit of, um, uh, a bit of uh, uh, I don't know, I guess, runaway euphoria for the sector. Uh, this, the valuations were getting sky high. They corrected 30 to 50% those two companies. Wow. And they're the market leaders. Mm. Uh, so the mid cap guys correct, corrected uh, even more. Uh, we're just starting to see that form of base and that those companies are might be on their second leg up. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so do you see that Tinkerine has a chance to grow to that size of a market or is that market big enough in Canada or are those so, companies mega caps because they're US markets? So they're, 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 they're large cap because they've been around for 20 years and they're, uh, they're, they grew with the industry. So they're they're industri the pioneers. They're the pioneers and they're industrial, industrial focused companies. Hmm. They both have a, um, have a consumer division. So we're nipping at their heels in the, in, the cons in the consumer space, which makes up about 10% of their business. We see ourselves being able to compete with them very well in the consumer space. Our product is comparable uh, performance-wise. Uh, it's been independently tested to be equal or maybe in some cases uh, the performance characteristics are better. Uh, and we have, I think we've talked to you before, James, we have this focus on the education sector. That's where we'll be marketing and pushing hard with our own salespeople into that, into that segment. Hmm. Okay, so in the immediate term for investors in Tinkering, what are the, what are the catalysts that are going to drive sharehold, shareholder value? So uh, we've announced we're launching our new product, the Ditto Pro, that's tailored for prosumers, so light professional use architects, engineers, designers, and it's also great for the education sector. So you'll be watching us launch that in the coming quarter. Um, we're going to be appointing distributors, uh, traditional distribution channels, uh, as well as the product is available on our online store. So you'll be watching us for uh, announcements of distributors. And ultimately in the quarters ahead, we are going to be delivered, delivering uh, sales numbers that people can start to measure us by. Right now you're measuring us just on the potential for the industry. We'll move uh, more and more towards delivering hard results. Okay, well let's leave it there for now, Mar Martin. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, thanks James. My guest today was Martin Burian. Martin is the CFO of Tinkering Studios, which trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol TTD. If you'd like to learn more about Tinkering, visit them online at tinkering.com. That's T-I-N-K-E-R-I-N-E.com. If you'd like to learn more about companies like Tinkering, visit us at MidasLetter.com. I'm James West. This is Midas Letter Money coming to you live from the Market One Media Interview Zone at the Canadian Investment Conference in Vancouver, British Columbia.